Nowadays, if you've got trouble on a video game, new or old, you can just Google the issue. Find a walkthrough, find the specific spot you're having trouble with, because more than likely, there's a guide out there for it. No matter what it is, there's a guide out there. However, it wasn't always this way. Strategy guides were how we got by before the internet, before cell phones, before any of this was a huge thing. You had to get these giant, thick books to get by. And I love strategy guides. I love picking up strategy guides. Strategy guides as a store, I don't make much money on when I do buy them because most of them aren't really worth a whole lot of money unless it's a very rare title or a title that really needs one or came with one as a special edition like games like Earthbound. Uh, that strategy guide I think is probably the most valuable strategy guide out there is the Earthbound one because it came packaged with it and that happened a lot. When you went to order and pre-order a game, you'd be pushed at the counter to buy the strategy guide with it, or the collector's edition that came with the strategy guide already included. Things like, uh, I believe Fallout 3 came with the guide for a while, Skyrim was offered with the guide as a promotion for a while when it was first released. Games came with strategy guides to be able to help you get through those tough times. Now the internet and stuff has its place, strategies and stuff like that are great to see, but there's nothing like just opening up that crisp book and seeing the beautiful artwork and the captions to go with it and looking ahead in some cases to see the wonderment at the end of the game that you'll eventually hopefully get to. There's nothing like that. Even with the internet and its vast knowledge, strategy guides will always have a place in my heart.